Hi, my name is Janie, and today we are um, doing a survey down in southwest Florida about how some of the wildlife has been affected by the red tide that's been going on here. Um, so today is September 20th, 2018, and we have been taking our boat down, uh, down across uh, Gasparilla Island and Cayo Costa, uh, also known as La Costa Island. And in a moment, we're going to show you some live footage of some of the species that have been impacted by red tide this year. So we're here on Gasparilla Island, and here is another grouper. It's like a giant grouper or jewfish that has died in the red tide and washed up on the beach. Dead tarpon right here, uh, Gasparilla Island, uh, September. 2018, we've got red tide going on right now. Right there is a, uh, a nice sized uh, red drum. Looks like some of the mackerel have also gotten affected by the red tide. Another dead fish, fair sized one, washed up on a. This is Cayo Costa. It appears that there's sort of like a tidal line out here where all the, the dead fish sort of accumulate together. We're seeing a lot of uh, striped burfish, uh, batfish, catfish, um, and also quite a few um, fair sized red drum as well. See the occasional uh, eel. I uh, have not seen any stingrays, no sharks, uh, very few snook. I've not seen very many snapper either. Lots and lots of sea robin. Yeah, lots and lots of uh, batfish. I see a lot of toadfish, striped burfish especially. But that's the uh, the main part of it. Revelation 8-9, it talks about in the end of days how a third of the fish of the sea will die. Now surely the impacts of this one red tide event would not amount to one third of the fish of the sea. But if that event were to happen, would you be prepared and know what to do? In just a moment, my dad's going to get on and he's going to tell you how to prepare and what to do if that event were to happen. When we come back, we're going to share with you how red tide has affected some of the sea turtles. And we're also going to share with you some photographs of some really active dolphins off the Cayo Costa and what they appear to do when red tide strikes the intercoastal. Let me pose a question to you. Are you a good person? And I'm sure many of you out there watching this video right now, you're probably really nice folks, okay? Let's put the same question against God's standard, the Ten Commandments. Okay, one of the commandments says, thou shalt not lie. And I'm sure if you're honest with yourself at some point in your life, you've told at least one small lie before. We all have, I have too, okay? Another one of his commandments says, thou shalt not steal. And I'm sure if you're honest with yourself again, at some point in your life, even no matter how small it was, you've probably stolen some small item, okay? Those rules define what sin is, okay? And if you broke even one of those rules, such as lying and stealing, that means you've sinned. We all have, okay? There isn't anybody that hasn't. The Bible says, for all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. The punishment for sin is going to hell or eternal separation from God. But the good news is that Jesus Christ came he took a brutal beating on the cross. He was sacrificed on the cross, went to the grave. Three days later, he arose, and now he sits beside the Father in heaven. The whole point of why he had to take that punishment on the cross is he was taking the punishment for my sin and for your sin. But it can only be accounted to you if through faith you believe in who he was and what he did and you repent, okay? For the Bible says, if you confess with your mouth Jesus Christ is Lord and believe in your heart God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Many of you are probably thinking, hey, I'm a good person. I've done so many nice things in my life for people. Surely God wouldn't look on me unfavorably. But the Bible actually says that by grace, you've been saved through faith. And that not of yourselves, it's a gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. The only way to be reconciled for eternity with Jesus Christ in heaven is through putting your faith and trust in what he did personally for you on the cross, taking your punishment. Okay, now let's get back to our repair. And I'll have some more information on it for you on that at the end of the video. This is one of the sea turtles that has washed up. Really disappointing to see this um, 
cannot tell what species it is. It's a little too decomposed, but uh, red tide has affected some of the sea turtles. Another dead sea turtle here. This one's a little more complete. Um, this is a pretty big one here. That might be like four, three and a half feet long. It's really disappointing to see this because a lot of sea turtle species are endangered. But yeah, this is how red tide has been affecting some of the It's like some red tide cleanup on Gasparilla Island. Uh, amber surf break. It looks like it's uh, cleaning up some of the dead fish and the seaweed washed up from red tide here. Red tide certainly has not affected the birds. That is a lot of birds sitting here. This is the Boca Grande phosphate pier. Red tide um, may not be affecting the jellyfish as much. Yeah, this is uh, really sad to see all this. Oh yeah, leopard crab. Water right there. Seen a lot of a lot of dead crabs too. So uh, yeah, it looks like the water is relatively clear down here uh, close to Boca Grande, just off of. Um, Gasparilla Island, but it is still sort of that sort of brownish color you get in red tide sometimes. Hey, I hope this video has helped you on the repair that you're working on right now. As far as the eternal portion I was talking about, if you're not sure who God is and if he really exists, I encourage you to pray like this. Say, God, if you are real, if you are out there, I pray that you would reveal yourself to me in a tangible way. And when you make that kind of prayer, he's going to answer you and he's going to show you exactly who he is. And at that point, you will know he's real. At the point in time you know he's real and you're ready to accept what Christ has done for you and know that you have eternal salvation with him in heaven, the gospel is so simple. You just pray like this. You say, Lord, I acknowledge that I've sinned and I've fallen short of your glory. I know that you have paid a price for my personal sin on the cross. I know you are the son of God and that you were resurrected and taken my place on that cross. And I thank you for saving me in Jesus name. That's how simple it is. But here's the catch. Just saying those words doesn't do a thing for you unless the heart believes the words you're saying. For the gospel says, if you confess with your mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord, which I just did, and you believe God raised him from the dead, the believing part is where salvation is. Salvation only comes through faith and believing. So anyways, I appreciate you watching. If you get a chance, visit our website, eternalrepair.com. That's eternalrepair.com, where we have a lot of other interesting repair ideas and also some more information on your walk with Jesus Christ. Thanks for watching. God bless and have a good day.